And I'm going to put this in my pan. Actually, I'm lying. I'm lying. Rewind. Nailed it. <laughs> Q from Cooking with Q, and today we are going to get into a recipe that is I'm holding dear to my heart, okay? Because in my house back in the day, we cooked greens, collards, mustard, all kind of greens. But today I'm gonna show you guys how we can make a collard recipe without a whole turkey neck, or without a ham hog, or without a hog mog. It is just gonna be a nice, sweet and savory collard. And they're about to be straight fire, and you're going to love the recipe because it's easy. So remember I said it. You're gonna love me. Let's get into it. So we got our collards. I got probably like two bunches of collards. I got um, our peppers. I got red, yellow, and orange just because I like the color. I have red onions. If you don't want onions, you don't have to. I dig them. Um, I have fresh garlic, as usual, shocker. Red pepper. I have some smoked paprika, and then I have some um, chili pepper. Liquid smoke to give you the feeling of like, a lot of people will add like, um, in my family, they'll add like turkey neck or anything that you could ever imagine into the greens because they think that gives it flavor. So I'm going to give it flavor without adding an, an animal. No animal was harmed for this meal. I'm literally just cutting off these stems. Catch it. And then I am going to chop accordingly. So now they're already good, because you know sometimes they, these are tougher, they'll be hard to chew. So I'm just making sure that they are cut up nicely. So now I'm gonna put this in my pan. Actually, I'm lying. I'm lying. Rewind. Nailed it. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is get my pan ready. So I'm gonna throw some garlic in, throw some garlic on it, shocker. I'm gonna put a little bit of my red pepper. For those of you who know what sneezes are like, this is about to create an intense sneeze. I'm gonna put some of our powder, our powder, our smoked paprika and some of our chili pepper down there. And then I am going to get it popping with a little bit of water. And while that is going, I am going to chop up some of these red peppers. Peppers. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. And I'm going to go hard. And y'all know I'm trying to use every piece in the name of Jesus. Okay? Okay. Ooh. So we got our red peppers. And I'm cooking these first just because I want them to saute. Have a little bit of flavor. I'm going to hook myself up with a little water. A little bit more, a little bit more. Let that be great. You'll see that they're not going to get, they're not going to get soft and mushy, but they are going to start getting, they're going to, it, honestly, it looks like they're going to start getting like a little translucent, but you know they're still crunchy. So while that's doing that, I'm going to dump in my collards. I'm about to give myself a little bit more of this chipotle. Add it in. We're going to add a little bit of more of smoked paprika. Get money. Red pepper flakes. Catch it. I'm hitting y'all with a little bit of agave. Not too much, you know what I'm saying? I know this is different. I know this scares you a little bit. Well, we gonna give a little drizzle, drizzle, drizzle of agave. Won't he do it? Look at that. Oh, I'm serving you collards up in here, okay? You don't want this smoke. I got some liquid smoke. We gonna put a little, put a little, put a little. When I say a little, I almost wanna, like just a little bit. Can you smell it already? It gives you, it makes it feel like it's smoky. So you don't have to put a whole turkey neck in there or a whole hog mog. It don't even matter. We're not even gonna get into that. Look how pretty. For the saints that like a little bit of salt, you can salt to taste, but I'm just gonna pepper blend till I feel like it. This is a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar. Now, depending on how your family is, because some people in my family don't like a lot of spice. I like spice. Oh. 
Hold on, Saint. That's good. You know, you make a recipe, you'd be like, is it gonna turn out right? And you'd be like, oh, these are very beautiful. They're so happy. And it's a different way to eat your, your greens. Let's have a quick conversation about greens because I know, you know, you know, everybody think COVID is over, so everybody's going back to like normal stuff. But let me tell you what I don't want y'all to go back to. Overcooking everything that you eat. When you eat greens at somebody's house, the greens aren't supposed to be brown. Because if they're brown, that means they're browns. The greens should have color. You see the veggies that are in here? They have color. So this recipe is making the greens, they're not, it just has a good flavor. They're not overcooked. If you like me, you wanted to give a little bit more kick, give it a little bit more kick. Give her a kick, sis. Give her a kick, sis. The only other thing I would do after this, and only reason I'm not gonna do it is because I'm gonna share these with my husband. So I'm not gonna put onions in it. I'm saying it in the recipe. I wanna add onions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the onions separate. So I'm gonna show y'all. So my purple onions, I slice pretty thin. Um, I'm just gonna do them on the side just because I don't, I'm gonna share this. And you can do the same thing for the folks that are in your family. I saved a couple of, a few of my seasonings. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of the smoked paprika so it doesn't miss any of the flavor. A little bit of our pepper blend and water. Only thing we're trying to do is saute that. I don't wanna burn them. I don't want them to be mushy. I just want them to be nice where I can top them on top of my greens. It's a cute, it's a cute, it's, it is. It's a cute way to top your greens. If you really wanted to um, make your collards into a whole meal, you could literally slice a vegan sausage on top of there um, and that'll give you the feel if you're used to eating them how they eat them down, down south. You can do that. But for me, I just want you guys to see that you can eat greens a different way and they still taste amazing. These are kind of spicy, savory, it gets just a little kick. So you got a little bit of sweet, you got a little spicy. They're happy greens and they're really nice on the table. Seeing that, you know, people are cooking outside now, they're having people back over. So I want this to be something that you can actually place on the table and it looks amazing and easy to serve. Okay, family, so let's have a whole quick conversation. We're gonna plate this up because I want y'all to see how we would do it at the crib. Look at that, look at that, nice honey. Let me be perfectly honest, y'all, don't be mad that I don't have hot sauce out of here, but I got something that will serve its purpose. Gotta have a little bit of onion right there, right? And then I got one of my favorites, Mrs. Pruitt's Cha Cha. Woo, honey, chow, chow. Hold on, Saints. Hold on. Trey Song's voice. Yeah. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm fenced to. <laughs> That's when you agree, you super green like I'm fenced to. I'm fenced to. Like, what is fenced to? I don't know. Let me show y'all this. Boy. Hallelujah. Mrs. Pruitt has several different kinds of cha-cha. This is that Motor City Heat, because I like stuff spicy. Honey, it's from heaven. I love y'all. Y'all already know. I'm about to let y'all be blessed, but until then, may your taste buds be forever satisfied. Yo, this recipe is straight fire. Be blessed. And now I'm going to let that saute a bit and then we'll add our kale because not our kale. It... And then we're going to add the freaking collards. Okay, I'm so used to cooking with kale. I think everything green is kale. Kale is back there. Oh, this, kale, yeah. Oh, kale, yeah. These are collards. So we're cooking with collards. Family, if you liked the last video, of course you will love the next one. So do me a solid. Click here to watch that next video, but you already here anyway, so you might as well click subscribe. I love y'all with the love of Christ. <laughs>